this video, we will explore the following problem. If pipe A can fill the bucket in 4 hours, and pipe B can fill the bucket in 6 hours, how many hours will it take to fill the bucket when both pipes are turned on? Now this problem is a classic example of a rate problem, so a good place to start would be to find the rates at which each of the pipes can fill the bucket on their own. Pipe A takes 4 hours to fill the bucket, which means the rate at which it's doing so which I'm going to call R sub A, is 1 fourth buckets per hour. By the same logic, if pipe B takes 6 hours to fill the bucket, its filling rate, R sub B, is 1 sixth buckets per hour. Now the question is asking how long it'll take to fill the bucket when both pipes are turned on. So instead of dealing with the rates individually, we need to combine them to determine what the combined rate is. The combined rate, R sub C, is equal to R sub A plus R sub B. This is of course equal to 1 fourth plus 1 sixth. Now we can take the common denominator. Now we can take the common denominator here to simplify and we get 3 over 12 plus 2 over 12. 3 plus 2 is 5, so we end up with the combined rate being 5 over 12 buckets per hour. And now we need to figure out how long it'll take to fill one bucket at this combined rate. One way to think of this is that the rate in buckets per hour times the time in hours must be equal to one bucket. We just determined that the rate is 5 over 12. So 5 over 12 times the time must be equal to 1. And so we know the time is 12 over 5, or 2.4 hours. If this method doesn't convince you, another way to think of this is if 5 buckets take 12 hours to fill, then one bucket should take one fifth of that time, or 12 fifths hours. So to wrap everything up, if pipe A takes four hours to fill the bucket, and pipe B takes six hours, when both pipes are turned on, it takes 2.4 hours to fill the bucket.